Hi, this is Bill for Sparky Channel. And today I'd like to answer the question, when do we break this little tab? See the arrow pointing to the little tab on the receptacle? And I'd like to answer the question, when do we break it? And why do we break it? The answer is that we break this little tab when we're wiring something called a half-hot receptacle. And now you're probably wondering, well, what's a half-hot receptacle? So what I'd like to do is show you the whole procedure of wiring the half-hot receptacle. And during that, I'll break the little tab and explain how it's done and so forth. And I'll put timestamps in my video description if you'd like to jump forward to any particular part of the video. This video is for educational purposes only and only competent persons should attempt this installation. Be sure to turn your circuit breaker off before starting any electrical work. Hi, this is Bill for Sparky Channel and today I'd like to show you how to wire a half-hot receptacle. A duplex receptacle is two receptacles combined as a single unit. If I were to plug in a lamp to the top duplex receptacle, the light goes on. And if I were to plug in my outlet tester to the bottom portion of the duplex receptacle, right now this is off, but we'll turn on the switch and now it's on. Not only is it on, but it shows that the wiring is correct. Now I can take and turn off the switch, turn on the switch, turn off the switch, and you see the switch is controlling the bottom duplex receptacle, but the light stays on constantly. So that's a half hot receptacle, and now I'm going to show you how to wire it. Let me first show you the cabling. Coming into the receptacle box is a 12 2 with ground, and this is your power cable. It's, a, it's got two conductors, that's a black and a white, and a ground wire. And I have this one labeled line. So this is what brings the power into the box. And right here, I have a bonding wire that bonds the metal box to the grounding system of the house. And here is a 12-3 with ground cable. It comes here, here's your three conductors, the white, the red, and the black. And we got the, the bare ground wire, and it comes over here. And once again, we have the white, the red, and the black, and the bare ground wire. And we have a bonding wire for the metal box. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to work on this box right here, and I'm going to get the grounds together. Okay, this is a five connector wiggle lever nut, and I'm going to connect it to the bonding wire, and then here's the ground for the power cable, and then here's the ground that goes over to the other box, and I have prepared a pigtail that I'm going to put right here that is going to go to the receptacle. The receptacle is going to go like this, and the reason I'm putting it this way is assuming the rest of the receptacles in the house were oriented like this. I want to put this one with the grounds up to signify to the homeowners that this is a half hot. And so we're going to have this one be switched and this one be hot, and the ground wire is up on the top. I'm going to go ahead and push these back into the back of the box like that. And then we have our ground wire right here on the top. And now I'm going to get the neutrals together. So I have a three connector wiggle lever nut. I'm going to go ahead and put the neutral that comes from the power wire together with the neutral that goes over to the switch. And I'm going to put a pigtail, a, a white neutral pigtail. And this one will go to the receptacle. And the neutral is going to be on the left hand side. So when we put it in, let's put it over here on the left hand side. There's your neutral, there's your ground. Now this is your line wire. This is the one that's hot all the time. And this is the hot wire going over to this switch. The return wire will be the red wire. That'll be the switch wire. So here's a three wire wiggle lever nut. Go ahead and put that in there. And we'll put this in here. And I have a pigtail. That one, this one will go to the receptacle. And this one's going to be on the right hand side. So let's push this right over here. This is the hot wire that's hot all the time. And this is the hot wire that is hot in a switched manner. 
The next step is to put on the mud ring. Now I'm going to put the ground wire to the green grounding terminal. The next connection will be the white neutral to the silver neutral terminal. Right there. And there is a tab right here which will bring the neutral energy to both of the terminals. Now we need to break the tab that connects the two brass colored terminals on the hot side of the receptacle. So take your needle nose pliers or electrical installation pliers and grab the tab real well and now you're going to just go back and forth, back and forth. See, back and forth, back and forth. And there it is. It broke right off. That's very necessary for wiring a half hot receptacle. Now we're going to wire the hot side of the receptacle that has the broken tab. So now we have the line wire that is going to go to the top terminal of the duplex receptacle. So we're going to tighten that up. Okay, and then this is the switched wire that will go to the bottom half of the duplex receptacle. So now I'm going to go over to this side and I'm going to connect the ground wires together in two. And this is a pigtail that I've prepared. I'm going to put that right in there and click it down. Now this is the white neutral terminal and I'm just going to cap this off with a lever nut and we're going to put this into the back of the box. The neutral wire will be available in case someone wants to put a switch like a timer switch or something like that later on and it is code since 2011 for most cases that you have a neutral wire in your switch boxes. So here's the two switch wires and here's the ground wire. The first we're going to put on the mud plate. All right the switch says top right here the ground wire around the green grounding terminal, crimp it and tighten it down. Then put the red and the black wires to the brass colored terminals and tighten them down. So now we're going to dress the wires and put the devices in the boxes. Now we're going to put on the screwless wall plates. They just click on like that. Okay. There you go. Now I'll turn on the circuit breaker and let's see how it works. Now I'll plug in the light. Okay, the light works. And I'll plug in the receptacle tester. And this indicates that the wiring is correct. And let's see. Okay, we can control it with the switch. So this is hot all the time. And this is controlled by the switch. So there you have a half hot receptacle with the power coming to the receptacle. Stay tuned to Sparky Channel for a video that's going to show you how to achieve a half hot receptacle when the power comes to the switch, not the receptacle. This video hasn't been sponsored by anybody, so I just used what I felt was the very best of each tool and device. I'll put links in my video description for the Fluke 1AC voltage detector, the Fluke 117 electrician's meter, the Fluke meter hanging kit, the Leviton Decora Plus spec grade 20 amp receptacle, and the Leviton Decora Plus spec grade switch. The Leviton Decora Plus spec grade rocker three-way switches. The DeWalt 12 volt max impact driver, the Weha number two 1000 volt insulated Zeno driver, which fits the Leviton terminals perfectly, Wago lever nuts, the DeWalt cable stapler, Kinepex electrical installation pliers, and 8 inch diagonal cutters. And I'll include a link for my video how to install a marked controlled receptacle. Thanks for watching. Thank you.